Good morning. I am currently walking out of Silverton. So I've got a few updates. The first is when I got into Silverton, I gave Seven a text just to see where he was up to. See if he'd made it to Creed, if he'd gone on further. He had to Denver. So he's left the trail, which is fair enough. He just wasn't feeling it uh, and is gonna go and do some hiking in South America. So that's very exciting for him. Less exciting for me, I will miss him. Uh, and the other update is that I'm trying to get to Lake City now. The trail doesn't go directly to Lake City, it goes to a highway and then you have to hitch. I, however, have found a route out of Silverton that will hopefully take me all the way into Lake City and I should be able to catch up with one of my other friends, which would be exciting. The one snafu in this plan is that there may be a river crossing that I'm hopeful isn't too bad with all the rain that we've had. Otherwise I will get turned around and that won't be a fun 20 mile walk back into town. And then I'll need to work out what to do next. And hopefully also the route is okay. As best as I can tell from the topo maps it is, but sometimes you just can't tell. So I'll keep you updated. between Silverton and Lake City ended up being great, full of lots of mining relics and super pretty views. I ended up backtracking and taking the ATV road over Engineers Pass as the trail wasn't clear and appeared snowy, but it did mean I avoided crossing this river. Just riding the bike along to get my resupply. Done, made it to Lake City. Lake City was cute and there was a 50 mile ultra marathon on that day. I got asked if I had just run the marathon. Was it because I look super fit or just plain exhausted? <laughs> it was then back out to the pass to start the next leg to Monarch Pass slash Salida. Back on trail again after having made it into Lake City and then back out to the pass. This next section predicted thunderstorms all week, so we'll see how this goes. walking along and I was like something's weird what is it and then I was like there's hardly any wind I feel like this has been the first day in Colorado where I haven't had wind whipping around me all the time it's amazing I love it so this in my climb this morning probably can't tell on video how steep that is but it's over 15% gradient, which doesn't sound bad, but it is one foot after the other plod. This is the second 15% gradient climb today. It starts around there and goes up over to there. This here down there is the Creed alternate where it rejoins here with the red line. This is where Seven would have rejoined with us if he hadn't have got off at Creed. Morning, made it to 
the top of the second 15% gradient climb. Got one more climb to go and thankfully it is not 15% gradient, slightly less. Made it to the top of the third climb for today and the last climb for today. There's now 15 miles of downhill, which I don't understand. And we drop below 10,000 feet, which I think is the first time we do that all of Colorado. So it is day two of this stretch. And when we left town yesterday, the forecast was for thunderstorms every day this week. So I think it was 40% chance or higher uh, every day. Amazingly, yesterday we didn't get any. Uh, about five miles away I could see that there was some happening, but it was a lovely day where we were, which was great. So the question is, what do you think are the chances today? It's currently 11 a.m. and the thunderstorms usually come in sometime in the afternoon. I'll do a pan around you can let me know. What do you reckon the chances are? Day two. About 11.30. So it is 5 p.m. and have not had any thunderstorms yet. And I'm currently liking the chances of not getting thunderstorms this afternoon or tonight. So I'm gonna to call today a successful day of no thunderstorms. Walking this old Jeep road up to a saddled camp. It is 7% gradient and it is amazing. If every uphill could be this, mwah, chef's kiss. And 11 a.m. and it is pretty hot out. Today was the chance of at least thunderstorms and I'm going with pretty sure there's not going to be any thunderstorms today. Just had a break to dry my stuff out from condensation overnight and have dipped my shirt in the creek because it is starting to get hot. So in an attempt to cool down and hike uphill, shirt went in the water. Now I'm hiking. Good morning. It is day four of this stretch. Managed to get a bit of service yesterday evening on top of a ridge top and found out that it's now meant to be great weather for the rest of the week. So, no threat of thunder. <laughs> <Sunder. laughs> no threat of thunderstorms for the rest of the week, which is very exciting. So, it's been lovely weather, although getting a little too hot now but I prefer that to thunderstorms or as uh, apparently I say thunderstorms. So last night I got so confidently told by my friend that the weather report was glorious bliss for the next week. It's now 2 p.m. and it's spitting rain. 
but at least it's not thunderstorms yet. So we'll see how this goes. So it's not thunderstorming, but it is well and truly raining now. Loving walking in the rain. day five of this stretch and it is also town day got about 16 miles to monarch pass and then should be able to hitch down into salida <sighs> i'm out of breath you would not think i'm a through hiker it rained last night as well we'll see if it rains today or not you can put in your predictions, although it's hard to tell this early in the morning. I'm going for potentially this afternoon, but hopefully we'll be out at the pass by then. So we will see. Check out those cool clouds. It is now 10 a.m. Got eight miles to the pass, but the weather is not looking promising. So let's see if I can make it to the pass without getting rained on. So it is about 10.30. The rain has started. I found this great little shelter to sit in. But I don't think the rain's going to stop anytime soon. So it's either sit in this shelter all day <laughs> or press on to the pass out in the rain. I kind of don't want to do, but don't want to sit here either. And the rain's just getting heavier. What to do. Mostly made it to the top of my climb. It's a tiny bit of up the road. It's just a bit of a gradual rise and then it's all downhill to the parking lot at the pass where there's a store. I'm gonna get some hot food. It's gonna be amazing. And the rain has stopped for the time being. So let's see if that can continue all the way to the pass. Although I am walking through the clouds, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that. I made it to Monarch Pass and into Salida which is my favourite town so far. Everything in walking distance, a great mix of outdoorsy Nazi. And I found where Brian Adams bought his first real six string. Five out of five hitchhiking thumbs. 